Yeah, we were um, chosen as a one-to-one Chromebook school last year at Jacob Hespler. And um, it was just a fantastic learning experience for the whole school. And um, not just for the benefit of the students, because it was a game changer in terms of what we did uh, with our pilot schools, but it was an absolute game changer for what we did with teachers and, and just the power of, of changing teacher practice. Uh, but the fact the students came to class, all 30 students came with a Chromebook in hand, uh, ready to use them. It really changed the practice of the teachers. It forced them to use those uh, Chromebooks, uh, look, look for ways that uh, they could you know, help kids communicate better, think critically, all the, all the C's that we talk about. Um, we, we spent a lot of time with our staff preparing them for our, our one-to-one initiative. Uh, starting from the very very beginning, we, we established a very, very good um, Chromebook team that uh, collaborated and, and figured out ways that we could help support our staff because we had staff all over the continuum uh, around the use of digital tools. We had students, we had staff that uh, were using them uh, all the time. We had staff that you know had never even picked up a Chromebook or, a, or a, an iPad, and so we we took a real holistic approach to our PD with staff and we kept looping back throughout the school year to the very beginning supporting our teachers who are at the beginning of their continuum and we didn't want them to feel like the school was moving along a continuum and if they got left behind that um, they had no way of catching up so we, we spent a lot of time as a group uh, planning our PD session our, our staff meetings our heads meetings, just building capacity with all of our staff, including lunch and learns on a regular basis that that called on teachers to come and and con- we've continued the, the narrative. If you still haven't figured out how to turn on a Chromebook, come to this session. It's February. We're six months into this thing, but that's okay. We're going to continue to restart and help people along on their journey. That's great, Ron. Thanks so much. Um... I know from from my role it was interesting to see the different approaches uh, taken in our three pilot schools and uh, certainly the approach that that you took at at Jacob Hesper really resonated with my thinking around um, recognizing that staff just like students are differentiated learners that they need uh, you know different approaches on different timelines and it seems that um, your school put a lot of thought into positive ways to recognize and, and um, support staff through that journey. We, we did not want our staff to think we were downloading this one-to-one project onto them and not support them along the way. We started our communication with them in June of the previous year already and we really got, we spent a lot of time getting feedback from staff about their needs and we wanted to differentiate the needs uh, of our staff and give them supports uh, where they were on their, on their digital learning journey. And so um, we got a lot, we put out a lot of surveys. We got feedback, one uh, face-to-face feedback, and uh, and then started building our plan for how we're going to support the the teachers. And we did that through various means. And it was a it was a real focus for our school last year. And, and the time we put into supporting our teachers, giving them the tools, um, talking about the why that was a big part of what we had to do. And we had to work through a number of things with the question of why because there were some teachers who who wanted to be part of the conversation about why. Why are we doing this? It's a distraction for students. And we we needed to talk about a lot of things and work through some things um, with staff who who weren't really seeing the value of digital tools. And and we continued, you know, I think every school would tell you that those those teachers still exist. And um, and, and that's okay because everybody is on a different part of the journey. And, you know, the conversation's happening. And I think that's, that's what's really key in that situation. Ron, you mentioned in your uh, earlier comments how teachers were um, changing their their practice. Is there a, a highlight or two that that you would put your finger on? Yeah, the you know when talking about what happened at our school, I think one of the most exciting things that happened at our school was what was happening in our math classes. So one another major board goal and provincial goal is our is our math score. Uh, and the scores that are happening at the board level, system level, and school levels. And, and our math teachers became real proponents of the Chromebooks. They saw, they found tools. We used, we used a tool called Knowledge Hook, and I think a lot of people know about Kahoot, in getting feedback from students on really engaging tools that 
that students were, would be able to use in the classroom that would give teachers immediate feedback about where they were in the classroom, what kind of supports they needed in math. And, and the math teachers, um, who may traditionally, you know, teach in a way that um, maybe doesn't use digital tools and, and uses maybe some more traditional manners, um, we were seeing math teachers who were, who were using the Chromebooks and, uh, and figuring out all kinds of different tools they could use to help engage students and to help them along in their own achievement in math. So I would say that was a really, really um, highlight for me last year. We continue to build on that as a system as well. We're, we're, mathematics is a major focus for us and we want to see how digital technology can play a role in, in changing teacher practice. Now that you've moved sort of from your school into a, a system role um, as superintendent, do you have any maybe final comments just on what you, you hope or what you see sort of from a system perspective with this initiative? Yeah, um, when, you, when you have a system role, you, you see how differentiated your schools are. When you're a principal, you know how differentiated your staff is. And then you can times that by, you know, pick a number. Uh, in terms of differentiation amongst school, and you've got different philosophies amongst the school leaders, the principals in the schools, the administration, um, and so I mean we would hope that you know, and we have major traction right now with the one-to-one -one project. It has gone out this year to all 16 of our high schools. Um, the feedback I've been getting is that it's been fantastic. Most schools put it into the hands of their students right off the bat, and 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 staff were ready. That was the other thing that we were looking at. You know, we're kind of wondering is this going to be a major download on staff and what we've discovered is staff was ready for this to happen and, and, and the uptake has been amazing there's still lots of learning to happen along the way but it's our hope that in four years we're going to see a totally different classroom we're going to see walls blown down uh, from the classrooms and, and lots of interaction happening between students in different schools and different areas all the things we talk about, the value of digital learning, authentic audiences that students can, can experience through the use of, of digital technology. And they don't have to worry about waiting to go into the lab to do it during two weeks out of the school year, but it's a constant part of their learning. And, and that's the key. It's the learning. It's all about the learning. And, and we have to see and continue to monitor the impact it's going to have on student achievement. And that, that in the end, is going to be our... Our, uh, major, you know, our, our metric around the effectiveness of digital tools.